G'day guys, how are we going? Well, I've got the mighty camp oven out again today and I'm gonna be cooking up a butterfly marinated chicken. It's gonna taste pretty good, I reckon. We haven't even started cooking it. But before I uh, show you what's actually going in the camp oven, because it's marinated, there's a few things I've gotta do with the camp oven first. So we'll get those done and then I'll show you what's going in it. Okay, so now because this um, this chicken that I'm gonna cook up, because it's got a marinade in it, I've mentioned it before, uh, you know, a few of my other videos that when I do something marinated, I like to line the inside of the camp oven so that way you don't lose all the goodness. Now I've still got my trivet in the bottom there, so really important that you have a trivet still in the bottom of it, um, no matter what you're cooking up. So that's going to stay in the bottom there. So I'm just going to line inside my camp oven here with some tin foil, and the reason for that is because it's got a marinade going through it. So any sort of marinated thing that you do. I like to put a bit of tin foil in the bottom here, and then that way, when you're cooking it, all the goodness of that marinade's not going to fall through the trivet of the holes, in the holes in the trivet there, and end up down the bottom of your camp oven where that's not really where you want it. And when my veggies are all going too, they're all going to stay, you know, they're all going to get cooked up and, and nice flavours going in amongst that marinade. So that's why I just put a bit of a tin foil basket just in the bottom of it like so, like that, and um, that's going to hold all the good stuff in there. So from here, it's got to go in the fire for about 20 minutes or so, get her up to temperature, and then we can start cooking it. So we'll drop it in the fire now. Righto, so with my camp oven, I'm gonna bring this up to temperature before I start cooking it. You know, it's just the same as when you do anything in your oven at home, you know, if you're doing a roast, whatever, you always bring it up to you know, your 180, whatever, before you start putting your, your meal in there. So camp oven's exactly the same. So I'm just gonna grab the camp oven and sit it right in there in the heat for the best part of probably about 20 minutes or so, get some good heat into it, and then we can start cooking up this marinated chicken. Okay, so here we are now, I've got everything all laid out here. Camp oven's still sitting down there, getting nice and hot, bringing up the temperature how I want it. But here's everything that's gonna go in it. So I've got some pumpkin that I've already chopped up there, that's gonna go in it. A couple of uh, onions, that's a couple of bits of onion gonna go in it. Got to roast some potatoes, it's all gonna go on. And here's this beautiful bit of marinated butterfly chicken that'll go in the camp oven, go with all of that. A uh, bit of oil, and got some garlic, which I'll add some more garlic to the veggies when, when they go in a bit later on. Some herbs will go in it. Some peas, corn and carrot will go in the fire a bit later on. And then to top it off with some gravy as well. So that's the layout. That's what's gonna go in the camp oven. Give that camp oven a few more minutes yet to get it up to temperature where I want it. And then this will first all start going in. Well, the chicken will go in first, and then the veggies will go in after that. So let's get this camp oven off. Right, I think that camp oven's now ready to go. I'll just get him out. Grab that, let's put him on my stumpy. Get that lid off. Oh yeah, that's nicely up to temperature there. Let's put that down there for a minute. Now, I'm just gonna sprinkle just a little bit of oil in it too, just in the bottom of it. Just so it helps it not stick. And what I'll also do about the last sort of 20 minutes of this cook up with this chicken, I'll flip it over and do the other side as well. But oh, look at that. Oh, it's sizzling away already. How good is that? Magnificent. Now, that, when you hear it sizzling away like that, that is a really good indication. You've got your oven up to temperature where it wants to be. Now, it's a matter of take over the fire and start cooking it up. Put that lid back on, now we'll take it down here. Right up, so I've got a great set of coals going on here. This fire's been going out for a couple of hours. So it's gonna put a bit of a base sort of just out here a bit. Around out there, spread that a bit out there. A couple more there. Right up. That on top. And then just a good dose of coals, sit on the lid. Look at that. Magnificent. Right on. Now I'll just let that go. I'm going to cook this over, best part of 145 to two hours. Um, I'm only going to lift that lid three times over the whole cook up, about 20 minutes in. We'll come and have a bit of a check and see how it's going. And then we'll do another one about, about an hour and a half, into the time, and then another one sort of about 15, 20 before it's going to be ready. So leave that one go. I'll let it run for about oh, 15, 20 minutes, probably that first, first time I'm going to lift the lid. 
then I'll put the veggies in on that as well. So give the old roast of the chicken a bit of a head start, then we'll get the veggies going. This is gonna be magnificent. Just get some wood back in this fire again, get some more heat back in it. That's funny with the camp oven, you gotta keep plenty of coals up on them, because you do go through quite a few. Especially if you're, you've got a couple of camp ovens going, well, you're gonna need a really good wood supply just to keep those coals going, so. Keep it all topped up, and uh, we'll check that one in about 15, 20. Okay, so while that's, um, the chicken's cooking just nicely down there, tell you what, it smells pretty good to all the smells of the herbs and everything coming off that. I'll now get the veggies ready to go in, because they're gonna go in shortly. And as I do with pretty much all my veggies, I, I like putting them in, um, in this pl pl plastic bag like so, just chuck them all in there, put them all in, onion and all, get it all in there, and then it's gonna give it a good dose of oil and this will help help it to sort of cook well as well, put a bit of oil in it. But what it really helps with is making all the herbs, a bit of old herbs gonna go in it when they come out. Make you try that one. Oh, look at that. A few herbs in there and some good old garlic. Oh my God, I should be putting this stuff on my wheat bix, I reckon. I absolutely love the stuff. So I'm gonna put a good spoonful in there, maybe another one for good measure. These, Finnegan, these will taste fantastic. So now it's going to mix all that up, mix all the herbs, the oil, the garlic, all that sort of stuff, get it all mixed in, in amongst all the veggies there, like that. Oh, that's mixed in fantastic. So they're all ready to go. So I'll leave those sit there for a few more minutes and let all the oil and veggies and all the marinate get right in amongst there with the garlic and everything. And then I'll get that camp oven off in a second and we'll get these going in the camp oven. Righto, so we're about 20 minutes or so in now. Let's have a bit of a look and see how this is going. Got the veggies here all mixed up and these are gonna go in there at this stage now. Let's get those coals off because I'll put some new ones on the top. So we gotta give it a good bang because you don't want any of that ash. To end up in your nice cook up. <laughs> that would just be disastrous right now. Righto, let's have a look at this. Look at that. Oh, that is Finnegan. That looks fantastic. Have a look at that. That for 20 minutes already. That is looking fantastic. So, nice juices. See how the juices there are all staying in the bottom of the dish there, right where I want them to be. And everything's going to taste amazing with it. Righto. In go the veggies. Just sprinkle them in there. Sprinkle them around. It's going to be one fantastic cook up. Righto. There we go. Just open that up a bit there. That's looking fantastic. Righto. Let's get the lid back on this. Get some new coals. As you can see, I'm only taking my coals always from the front here. So anytime I top up my wood, I'm putting all the wood at the back. So then I don't block off any access, you know, get into the fire there. So I can get a good good coal base and get a good supply going at the top of the camp oven. And that's an absolute beauty. And about every 15, 20 minutes, just, just grab your, your camp oven stick there and just give it about a quarter of a turn. And that way, get a good circulation of heat going around whatever you're cooking in there. Righto. Now that lid's not going to come off now for probably about the hour and a half stage, hour 20 stage. So we're, we are 20 minutes in, 25 minutes in now. So about another hour and uh, we'll check that and then we'll get into the last stages of it then. Until then, it's going to kick back oh, and keep smelling these amazing aromas. <laughs> okay, so we're hour and a half now into, into this cook up. It smells pretty amazing. Let's take this lid off and have a bit of a look. That's it. Righto, moment of truth, hour and a half in, here we go. Oh, have a look at that. Seriously, how good does that look? Look at that. <laughs> Magnificent. So, what I'm going to do here, as I mentioned earlier on, I'm now going to get the, the chicken there. I'm going to flip him over for the last sort of 20 minutes or so, just to give that a bit of a go on that side. Oh, look at that. Absolutely magnificent. Just open them up. The veggies are going beautiful too. There we go. Now we'll just give that last bit on the bottom there, a bit of a brown up. This is going to be fantastic. All right, lid back on. Now just another little, little tip here, what I've done with this, this cook up, and I sort of try and look for them, you know, set it up this way with all my camp ovens. 
If you've got a bit of a breeze blowing through, um, you know, that's why I've got the oven set up on this side of the fire, because there is a bit of a breeze blowing through sort of this direction here. And the idea of that is as the breeze blows through the fire, well, it's blowing the heat with it too. So, you know, it's giving them, um, you know, the camp oven a good bit of heat. And that's why I say, you know, every 15, 20 minutes, just give it a bit of a quarter of a turn, just balance out that heat and uh, keeps it nice and cooked up evenly inside. Got the water on the go there ready for the gravy. So looking forward to this final stage and getting into this, it's gonna be magnificent. All right, getting these couple of last stages now. Just gonna get the gravy on the go. Water's going there, boiling away nicely. Get that lid off. Drop that in there. Look at that. <laughs> Can't have a roast without gravy. And then the old veggies. Make sure you crack the lid. If you're gonna put a can in the fire there, before you go putting it in. So I'll have some peas and corn and carrot going with this as well. Look at that. Don't tip over though, that's not what you want. There we go. Now, just wait for this last little bit and then we'll dish it all up and it's gonna be fantastic. Right, so now we're uh, about an hour 45 into this cook up. It's gonna be plenty I reckon now for this, this, this cook up of this roast chicken. The veggies are done, let's put them out the side there. They're ready to go. Gravy's also ready. Let's get the ashes off here and then we'll take it over the table and then dish this up. Get the coals off the top there. Let's have a bit of a lock. Oh, fantastic. Unreal. <laughs> right, let's get this over the table, get this dished up and get it all together. Right, let's dish this up. Sit him up there. lid off. Oh, fantastic. Tongs. Smells really, really good. Oh, look at that just falling off. Absolutely magnificently cooked. Flip that back over. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Get some veggies in there. A couple of his pumpkin, some potato. A bit of pumpkin. A bit of onion. This is absolutely magnificent. Bit of a wing there. Another potato. Leave that there now. Go and get my veggies and gravy and add the final touches. Magnificent. <laughs> veggies. They'll be hot. Put a glove on and crack them open. Tip out the last of the water. Not much left. <laughs> right, here we go. Some veggies. Magnificent. Now a bit of gravy. Slice the corner off that. Oh, not working too well. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Look at this. Oh, magnificent. <laughs> Roast marinade chicken. Out here in the high country, sensational. Oh, that's just fantastic. Hello, look at that. Now that's that's a meal. Great, great bit of bit of lunch going to go on there. Um, so I'm now going to kick back, sit around the fire there, enjoy this magnificent butterfly marinated roast chicken right here in the camp oven, out here in the middle of the bush. Absolutely sensational. So until then, guys, I look forward to seeing you maybe on the next cook up. Catch a bit later on. Hey, Ray. <laughs>